Meet Theodore and his assistant Robbie, an artificial intelligence in the shell of a robot. Theodore has a problem. He loves to write letters, but he's missing writing utensils. Luckily, Robbie's goal is to make him happy, and it is able to produce a limited amount of items. So Theodore starts thinking about what he needs and whether he prefers writing letters with a pen or a pencil. Ultimately, he feels like he likes pens a little bit better. He can't really quantify it, but we know that his true value is the sum of pens and pencils, each multiplied by the values he gains from them, which is basically an exchange rate. Now for Theodore, this is just a feeling that can't be directly observed or communicated. Consequently, Theodore tries to teach Robbie his preferences by providing rewards and penalties whenever Robbie produces an item. This training exercise goes well, but in the following night, Robbie calculates that it would be more efficient to directly reprogram Theodore's brain to simply be happy all the time. Theodore becomes very angry with Robbie. He says, you're my tool, not my mother. We need some boundaries and I need some time for myself. Taking a break from each other, Robbie turns to his recordings from last month and sees Theodore picking two pens over other combinations. Since Robbie can only predict the true value based on its data, it falsely assumes that Theodore places much more value on pens than on pencils. Faced with a choice to produce a larger amount of items, it predicts that nine pens would maximize Theodore's happiness over the choice of five pens and five pencils. And yet, because Theodore only very slightly prefers pens over pencils, he would rather have gotten a bundle of 10 mixed items. Processing the failed interactions, Theodore starts thinking about how to align his own preferences with the goals that Robbie is pursuing. And finally, he comes up with an idea. He wants to interact more openly and frequently with Robbie, so it can make proper adjustments. He also reflects his own values a bit better and tries to intentionally exhibit technically suboptimal choices after he noticed that Robbie's prediction of his preferences for pens was inaccurate. What he learned is that underspecified reinforcement learning may have unintended consequences. He learned that he needs to know what and how much he values things himself first and then clearly communicate his values to Robbie, who he must understand as an optimizing algorithm instead of a sentient being.